Our next guest has seen the movie Willard, what, 120 times? 122. 122. Yeah. He is a rat expert and exterminator for the city of New Haven. And today we are talking to Mike Lipset, who's been here several times. Thank you so much for being here, Thanks, Mike. Steph. Good morning. Good morning. And we actually have a little... A little pet, I guess. Pet Ben, a yeah. A pet rat. He's a lab rat. He's not harmful, but certainly we wanted to talk about how uh, big of a problem uh, uh, rodents and wildlife are but becoming. But this is a good guy. This is a good guy, yeah. so don't be afraid. Yeah, we can, don't want to scare anybody. Some people have pet rats, so. He's actually a good little fellow. Yeah, he seems like a sweetie. And he was loaned to us oh, by Slither and Swim Pet Store in uh, West Haven. Mm -hmm. And I hope somebody goes and picks this little fellow up at the end of the day so uh, he doesn't end up uh, uh, being lunch for a python or something so yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, his eyes are red just like my dress. Yeah, he's yes. cute. <laughs> but back to, back to rodent control, it's yeah. blowing out uh, through the roof. Mm -hmm. In 25 years in the pest control industry, I've never seen or received the amount of calls that we're getting on rodents, mice and rats, really? and also wildlife, skunks, what do you think raccoons. That is? My personal opinion is the chemicals that were outlawed in the environment years ago oh, have uh, okay. allowed a lot of things to come back, uh, such as how many wild turkeys do you see that right. maybe 10 years ago you didn't see. Right. Well, I so, love seeing wild turkeys. Yeah, but there's funny. good things, and of course there's bad. Yeah, no, of, there's, yes. There's coyotes uh, today in, uh, in uh, neighborhoods that there was never, and certainly there's yeah. uh, bed bugs are back. There's yeah. a lot of things that weren't. Uh, in the environment for a long so, time. So, you know, can we cover his little ears and talk yeah, about no. what you do for rodents? No, situations? we don't have to cover him, but he is yeah. a cute little fella, huh? I don't want you to hear this, little buddy. All right, so, so I mean, what do you do if, if you have well, a rat Well, the first the thing house? what we like to do is tell people what they can do. Be proactive around your house. Close up openings. Don't have wood piles right next to the house. Overgrowth. Yeah. And a big problem, and bird lovers might disagree with me, bird feeders. If you have one, put it further back on your property line. Uh, some people that live in urban environments, there's not much they can do because they might have a neighbor with three bird feeders next door to them. But if you do your job, uh, certainly it will reduce what comes in and around your property. Now certainly when we go to do a home, we bait inside. And when we do uh, work, we don't want to leave loose poison, so we use bait boxes. Okay. Bell Labs has been great with inventing and doing research on rodent control and uh, devices that we have, the bait goes inside so none of it can be taken out uh, where kids or pets can get at it. These are what we call landscape boxes. The rodents would enter through the hole. The baits are on the wire so that if you have a beautiful home, you're not looking at the uh, other black boxes that are a little less decorative, although they work the same. So being proactive and certainly when you bring in an exterminator, we bait in and out. It really, really, if you stop the problem outside, you may minimize what you get inside. Oh. This little fellow wants to be picked up. You so want to pet him? Oh, okay. Come on, Ben. Oh, can, come on, come we, on, little fellow. Oh, he, does, he doesn't just pet bite, him. right? Oh, okay. yeah, he's a All good right. boy. Oh, yeah. He's, he's a, a good boy. Yeah, he's sweet. Hopefully this little he fellow will little, find himself home. Yeah, he's a little antsy. Yeah, his tail is so long. Yeah, yeah. When you take the tail of yeah. a Norway rat, Right? Yeah. The tail is shorter than the head and the body. But on the roof rat, which is not as common in Connecticut, the tail is actually longer than the head and the body. Wow. They're a little sleeker. This fellow, we brought him in mainly to show you the size of him. Yeah. But certainly, certainly, uh, I can't um, uh, understate uh, how much uh, uh, the growth of the uh, rodent and wildlife. I have to keep plugging in wildlife. We've never gotten really? the calls we've gotten for skunks in particular, squirrels, oh, wow. raccoons, possums. And I try to tell people, be proactive around your home because we don't, we don't want to uh, uh, take those uh, animals out and, right. and we have to dispatch them if we take them off your property. Yeah, so, so next week you're going to bring in a skunk? If you want. Oh, no, no, no that's okay. Yeah. You can leave him outside, we'll but leave. Ben's pretty friendly. We'll keep him around. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. Some great thank information, you for, thank Mike. You for having me, great Steph. to see you. Thanks right. for coming in, Ben. All right.